It is the R E I I E H nine plus. It's a mini. It's a mini keyboard trackpad. What? That's that's, and I have it right here for those of you who can oh, see there you go. video. There you go. Okay. Um. So it. Carl was like, "Did you get like a sidekick? What's going on over there?" <laughs> that's what it looks like. So it's, it, it's it's like an old. It actually reminds me of like the original Xbox controller. Yeah, because it's yeah. kind of taller. Yeah, uh, with less of a curved so, edge. So so but, for, to describe it for audio, it, it's got a keyboard that takes up most of the device. It does again looks kind of the size. Hold that up again uh, if you can, uh, so I can uh, get describe it for people. It, and it does have like four buttons like a controller, but it's like home and volume on the upper right, kind of a trackpad in the top middle. And then like an okay menu D pad ish little like a circle but a D pad kind of thing uh, on the upper left. That is crazy. And, uh, yeah, that, that is it the backlit version that I have. I see tagged here. It is the back. That's the one I have. Um, so, and on the inside is on. If I turn it around and open it up. Yeah, it's a. It has a rechargeable battery. It looks like a cell phone battery. Yeah, and then it actually has a spot for the USB okay. in it. And the whole purpose of this device was for my Raspberry Pi. Oh. It's one, I'm only using one USB port and it gets me by enough to make sure it boots and I get into whatever I'm getting into and then I've been remoting into it. Instead at of- At some point. Instead of like dragging a full-size yeah. keyboard and everything like that, it's just a nice little handy thing to, to, to kind of deal with it. Yep. And then even then, like, I can also, so I loaded up Raspbian. I want to play around with PyVPN to build a ho- like a home VPN server. 